All right, let's talk about Green Bay Packers first round pick, Lucas Van Ness, someone who I was very fascinated in seeing how he would do in a Packers uniform. Definitely wanted to make sure I made a video on him. But when I looked at his pro football focus uh, grade, so this is uh, the Packers kind of bottom 10 players uh, of the preseason, um, you know, Devontae Wyatt at the bottom, that's definitely not ideal. Uh, Lucas Van Ness was the fourth closest towards the bottom with a not very good 40.8 grade. And he actually had a decent amount of snaps too, 20 snaps, nothing crazy, certainly nothing I'm going to jump to conclusions on just based on those snaps. But you do see that and say, okay, that's a little little concerning uh, for a guy who maybe didn't have the best uh, production numbers in college. And there were some, some explanations for it. Like if you look at his pro football focus uh, draft profile, you see that the, the numbers here aren't anything great. They're not abysmal for sure. Like you, you definitely see some guys who get drafted with a lot worse uh, PFF grades and things of that nature at the edge rusher position. This is the, you know, you can live with these this production as a first round pick, but it's certainly on the low end for first round picks. Although again, he had a lot of athletic traits that people really liked. And I think kind of people felt like, well, if we can coach up some of the other things, then he could become this elite level pass rusher. I think that's kind of the, the mindset a lot of people have. So, okay, these kind of players, I'm always very fascinated in seeing how they do in the preseason. Guys who maybe need a little bit of coaching up. Has Lucas Van Ness gotten that? I mean, you saw the low PFF grade of this game, so you're probably thinking no, right? But I actually think in some ways he has. You know, we'll talk about the good and the bad. Let's just get into it. Like going over here, so, uh, you know, it, it is worth mentioning the, the current situation he's going to be going up against here. This is going to be a uh, left tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals, Deontay Smith. Deontay Smith, who, uh, you know, uh, isn't exactly a household name. He was a fourth round pick in 2021. He has 56 total snaps in his career. So, okay, uh, you know, uh, pretty much so far, uh, fourth round pick kind of backup level player. That's who Lucas Van Ness is going up against. But still, watch what Van, Van Ness is going to do here. Look at this immediate explosive move to get towards the inside. And he gets his right arm. I pause it right here because he gets his right arm underneath Smith's right arm. I mean, these are moves that we weren't seeing him do at the college level. At the college level, he very much was the guy of he's bigger than you and he's just going to run over you type of guy, which like that works at the college level. But in the NFL, everyone's big and everyone's strong. You got to have other stuff. And to me, this is him showing off stuff. I really didn't see him do at college too much. He's going to run forward and try to make a play on the halfback. He doesn't make the play, and you probably would like to see him make the play, but again, you're getting outran by a halfback. I'm not going to crush you for it, and he still helped uh, you know, blow up that play, even if he didn't quite uh, be able to make the tackle on that one. So to me, this is a good play. The stuff like this was very optimistic, I think. I also think he had some just like learning experiences, some moments of like, okay, this isn't going to work. I have to try something else. What's going to happen on this one is it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup once again, this time in the passing game though, right? When the play begins, you see Van Ness, really, it looked like he tried to bull rush right there and it just didn't work at all. He kind of got stopped in his tracks, which again, these are the learning experiences you need. Also, I should, I meant to say this at the beginning of this play. The reason why it's, you know, sort of looks weird. There's kind of the, the barrier outside and everything is uh, this was during an interview that they were doing. You know, they do interviews throughout the game. And so sometimes you have to deal with a picture inside of a picture type situation. So I just zoomed in on what's actually happening in the game to give you, yourself a better view. I didn't want to zoom in too much to block out everything else, though, because that would kind of make everything look, uh, you know, a little low quality. Uh, so this is what I went with. Uh, sorry, uh, you know, just to explain that. But anyway, back to Van Ness. Again, Van Ness, I think, is someone who probably will learn how to get this stuff done. Because watch him now move that left arm over, and he eventually kind of got to the inside. You just, I mean, you don't have that much time at the NFL level. I mean, you know, when I paused it, it was, uh, it was a second and a half into the play, which isn't anything crazy, but you know, when you haven't done much in a second and a half, you will only have one more second to get to the quarterback. Got to get into your stuff quicker, but these are the learning experiences you want him to have is, hey, learn to try and pull off these moves a little bit quicker. We've seen he has the capability to do it, and he is kind of starting to learn that a little bit. But okay, you might be wondering, well, then Jackson, if he was showing some nice things, what resulted in the low PFF grade? Is PFF just stupid? Well, no, I don't think so. I think they're pretty good, especially with defensive and offensive linemen. They tend to, you know, be very accurate at that kind of thing. 
it was some other plays that we saw. Something like this was, I, I just, I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to accomplish on this one. You see where he is on the screen, and it almost looks like he thought this was supposed to be a stunt or something. I, that's what it almost looks like. Because, like, watch him move in, and he goes straight for the, you know, uh, interior offensive lineman. And, you know, in fairness, the interior defensive lineman did fall down, so maybe it was a stunt. I don't think so, though, because he didn't play that, like, I mean, he went straight into the double team, so he didn't play it like a stunt if it was supposed to be one. I think that was Van Ness trying for an inside move and having it very much not go so well uh, is what I, I feel like happened there. But again, maybe there's an explanation for it. But this is just one play I saw, and, and the reality is there were the majority of snaps he was out there, he wasn't really making an impact. I do think that's fair to say. Like heading over here, this is going to be another one where it's going to be, uh, once again, a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This time, he's uh, going up against uh, number 79 for Cincinnati. This is Jackson Carmen, the former second-round pick, who definitely there were some high expectations for, but it hasn't really clicked at the NFL level. Uh, you know, he hasn't played a ton, in fairness to him, uh, but, you know... Uh, you know, he was hurt all of 2022, only played four snaps there. Uh, but in 2021, he, uh, you know, didn't look particularly great in the small sample size we had. But okay, still, there's there's some, uh, you know, talent there. Let's see how Van Ness plays against him. It's one of those things where it's like, you see, he does push Carmen pretty far back. Like, he does do an effective job at doing that. But at the end of the day, I think that kind of one of the issues I think you could have and maybe one of the concerns you could have if you're a Packers fan is a lot of times in college you did see Van Ness have some like really impressive losses which like hey uh, that's still good right but you hope that at a certain point you start turning those into wins you'd rather an unimpressive win than an impressive loss and and maybe you will get that for sure maybe you will start to get that with Van Ness but I don't know if we have that as of right now now uh and i just think that he he is a little bit raw for sure but i do think that i actually feel a little better about him than i did prior to this preseason game even if the overall analytics aren't very good i, I do feel like he has shown me some things that maybe make me believe that he does realize there were some issues in his game and maybe he wasn't uh, totally NFL ready entering this, uh, you know, this season and has worked on some things and is continuing to work on things throughout the game in the 20 snaps we saw. Or maybe he just had a couple good plays and, you know, isn't great. Or maybe he just had a couple of not great plays and will be a lot better. It's really hard to say after just 20 snaps, but uh, an interesting situation with Lucas Van Ness. And those are my thoughts on him. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.